just to, uh, to introduce Dr. Prem Narsimhan to everybody. Dr. Prem has been, uh, he's an elder specialist, one of the very few elder specialists that are there in the city. Um, he uh, works with Just Look Hospital as well as Graceful Living. Uh, and uh, he's been, um, and he, he's a geriatrician, in other words, a person who, a doctor who helps elders uh, in their uh, uh, disease, in their uh, uh, well-being. Uh, I know people who have actually consulted with him and it's a different form of, uh, of therapy, both physical, mental, it's a, it's a holistic way of, uh, uh, of medicine. Um, thank you very much, doctor. Today's session uh, is something which I think we should have done even earlier uh, about immunity. How do we strengthen immunity? What are the myths behind it? Uh, but more importantly, what else can we do to stay healthy in these uh, crazy times? Uh, so welcome, doctor. Uh, I'll uh, hand over to you. Uh, everybody's muted. Um, I will unmute you once the doctor uh, finishes uh, his uh, talk. Yes, doctor. Yeah so, yeah, so good evening, everybody. Yeah, it's a time change today. And uh, yeah, of course, today is happy Ganesh Chaturthi. So happy Ganesh Chaturthi to everybody. And... Uh, yeah, but what we are talking about today is, I think, highly essential. And as Mr. Seller said, yeah, very pertinent. It's about, uh, as Mr. Modi had told, Atma Nibhar. So, Atma Raksha Rehti Hai, Wo Karta Kaun Hai Mare Body Ka. So, the immunity is given by whom? So, there are certain cells in our body which actually play the role of giving us immunity. So, the immune system is very, very important. And... Only thing is ki jaise jaise umar hai, as we go older, the immune system becomes to an extent, it becomes weakened. So jab weak hota hai immune system, then we need to do things to boost it. So what gets weakened? Now hota kya hai ki the lymph, the lymphocytes, which are actually the white blood cells in the body, they are the sort of army, you can call them. They, whenever an infection takes place, they actually run towards, they fight. And in their fighting is one when you see that when you have infection, the counts actually increase. So that is because they're actually fighting with them. And as soon as, of course, the treatment happens, then the counts goes lower and the body's immune system is also getting uh, getting better. So you have to remember that it is so perfect that our body is so good. Literally, it is the same thing that it fights itself. Of course, uske baad medicines dene hai aur dusri dene hai, but it, 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 it takes an absolute full effort to make sure that things can get back to normal. So, that is infection ke time. So, there is something known as immunosenescence. Now, immunosenescence ka matlab hai, jaise jaise umar badti hai, vaise vaise, like every other organ in our body, our immune system hai, wo bhi old ho jata. That also gets older. So, the number of cells, the way to, way we fight with every organism that obviously goes down. So in this times of COVID, why have people being, uh, if you say people have been uh, susceptible, older people, because one of the causes is ki thoda immunity comparatively kam hota hai dusro se. And then of course, multiple diseases and yeah, physiological reserve. Now physiological reserve ka matlab hai ki jaise jaise aapki umar badti hai, vaise vaise aapka reserve to fight diseases. वो थोड़ा कम होते जाता है तो उसको हम फिजियोलॉजिकल रिजर्व कहते हैं जैसे आपका हार्ट पंप अभी भी अच्छा कर रहा होगा बट नॉट नेसेसरीली एज गुड एज मे बी इट वाज 40 इयर्स अगो 50 इयर्स अगो तो थोड़े एज रिलेटेड चेंजेस उसमें आ जाती है सो द मशीन इज वेल ऑइल्ड बट थोड़े स्पेयर पार्ट्स इधर उधर हो जाते हैं दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू गेट ओल्डर सो दैट्स व्हाई यू नीड टू थिंक अबाउट टेकिंग थिंग्स इन हैंड सो एज फार एज इम्यूनिटी इज कंसर्न Immunity, jo raksha khud ko karna hai, wo aap kaise karenge? So there are some real basic things that you need to do. Tips to actually boost your immunity. Uh, I would, there is just one single slide I would want to show you. So that you can just see what we need to do for our immunity. Yeah. Now the most important thing here is why why are we why are we trying to boost immunity also because boosting immunity is connecting 
but doctor the slide did not come up yeah yeah i'm just i'm just putting it one is it coming now uh yes yeah so so as far as boosting immunity is concerned so why should we do it uh now why because jo immune system rehta hai wo hamara first line of defense hai तो जब फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ डिफेंस रहता है उसको हम हमेशा स्ट्रेंथन करते हैं हालांकि इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एस टू नो दैट कि जरूरी नहीं है कि आप इम्यून सिस्टम स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंगे तो आपको पक्का डिजीज नहीं होगा वैसा कुछ होता है बट यू नीड टू शोर इट अप तो जैसे बोलते हैं कि इवन इवन वी ट्राई टू शोर अप आर रिसोर्सेज इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट वेदर देल बी हेल्पफुल और नॉट कम्प्लीटली बट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू शोर इट अप सो हाउ डू यू बूस्ट दम और दीज आर फ्यू टिप्स विच यू शुड डू वन एस very important at any age is sleep sleep quality of sleep how you sleep the number of hours they are very important then secondly vaccinations vaccinations jo hai ek influenza ka hai ek pneumococcal vaccine jisko hum kehte hain wo older adults ke liye bahut important hai because it gives you protection against pneumonia and most importantly as As time goes, and even if you, there is a risk of pneumonia, what has been seen is, if you give vaccination, the intensity of pneumonia, which is there, is comparatively, you can say, uh, much lighter if you are vaccinated as compared to something not vaccinated. Then, indulge in physical activity at home. Why am I specifying it? Because we are talking about this current paradigm, wherein we feel like we are at home. So, it is very important that we should not be sitting. on uh, the couch as as dr pratha who had done one session at one point of time she had told that sitting is the actually the new smoking so you are not burning calories you are just becoming a couch potato that doesn't work so you have to indulge in a physical activity even at home then this when your immunity will boost then bp and sugar has to be checked now if you are a diabetic more so because these comorbid conditions have to be controlled at any cost jab isme control rehta hai तब आपका इम्यूनिटी बढ़ने का चांस और होता है देन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच वी ट्राई टू अवॉइड कभी होता है नहीं होता है बट आते रहता है एंड देन वी फाइट इट आउट दैट इज अफकोर्स नोन एज स्ट्रेस नो स्ट्रेस एनी काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस इट बी मेंटल स्ट्रेस फिजिकल स्ट्रेस इन दिस केस मोर मेंटल बिकॉज एट दीज टाइम्स वी आर वी फील आइसोलेटेड वी फील सोशली डिसकनेक्टेड सो देर शुड नॉट बी एनी सोशल आइसोलेशन यू शुड बी कनेक्टेड विद एवरीबडी सो ट्राई टू अवॉइड एनी काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस ट्राई टू ट्राई टू गो इन टू अ जोन विच गिव यू पीस it could be music it could be acquiring a new skill it could be looking at old photographs whatever gives you peace you should go into that so that you can actually relax and avoid stress very important that you eat a healthy and balanced diet of course diet might vary according to your diseases like specific diseases like heart disease liver disease kidney disease the diet will be modified but eat eat a very healthy and balanced diet try to have lot of fruits green leafy vegetables try to have everything in balance proteins uh, even uh, fat content limited oil limited try to take the type you are taking if you are a non vegetarian it's important how you take not deep fried stuff more of cooked roasted stuff that would be better then stay hydrated it's very very important that you stay hydrated water content is very important especially in older people why because it's not always that you will be realizing that you are losing water and you are actually sort of uh, getting dehydrated so always keep yourself hydrated then no smoking if you are smoking then it should be limited even at this age is very important then amount uh, limit the amount of alcohol as well so that also is something which is very important for boosting your immunity so this was just a single slide which i just wanted to highlight uh as far as other points which are concerned in boosting your immunity go there are a, there are a plethora of one so number 1 is have a very very healthy lifestyle now that's your first line of defense you have to keep your body mind everything strong so how do you do that one is exercise regularly which i said please maintain a healthy weight it's very important to do that it not too much not lose too much as well then increase immunity the healthy way so how do you do that one is through food then there are a lot of supplements as well which sort of say that your yeah, immunity can be helped. especially there's something known as essential amino acids then to an extent vitamins 
C now, vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin E, and also uh, amino amino acids which is there. Then omega fatty, the three fatty acids. These are all things which are seen to actually boost uh, the immunity. Now, just boosting them is not not as easy easy as said and done. So the extra cells. whoever are there actually in a normal thing if we try to boost extra cells will be will be actually destroyed if they are not really needed so we have to we have to keep that also into mind then diet and your immune system just trying to elaborate on it immune system marches on i mean that's what it is said it marches on in its stomach so stomach you can say you have to have good nourishment malnourished people cannot have a good immune system and you, you must have seen why malnourished people end up getting more health issues now as i said deficiencies of zinc selenium iron copper folic acid vitamin a vitamin b6 vitamin c e have been seen to alter responses in animals and to an extent also in humans but it is more experiment so what should you do try to take maybe a multivitamin uh, mineral supplements not too much of it remember mega doses does not help so if you might see that we i will take one type of vitamin but three types i mean one type of vitamin in three three courses no that's not going to help you should take only that much which is necessary more taking more multivitamins is not necessarily better then another thing that we keep in mind is that when we walk into a store a lot of people a lot of things like bottles of pills and herbal preparations are that and that says that it supports immunity now evidence is not there unfortunately whether they protect against infection and disease so if it demonstrates that it can actually enhance immunity scientifically then i would say you can go for it. or else there is no no really uh, use to actually take a herb and supplement if it is not been demonstrated scientifically now the relation of stress and immune function now modern medicine has always said that there is a close close link relationship between the mind and the body so as it said ki ek variety of problems jo rehte hai chahe aapka pet upset ho chahe heart disease ho bahut sare cheeze इंक्रीज कब होती है जब इमोशनल स्ट्रेस ज्यादा होता है सो साइंटिस्ट आर ऑब्वियसली हैव गॉन इनटू सेइंग दैट रिसर्च दैट व्हाट हैपेंस इन स्ट्रेस एंड इम्यून फंक्शन नाउ अगेन स्ट्रेस इज नॉट दैट इजी टू बी डिफाइंड बिकॉज़ फॉर मी सम कुड बी समथिंग एल्स कुड बी स्ट्रेसफुल बट आपके लिए कुछ और स्ट्रेसफुल हो सकता है सो व्हेन अ पर्सन इज व्हेन अ पर्सन इज ऑन अ सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ स्ट्रेस इट्स ओनली अ सब्जेक्टिव इंप्रेशन so we can only measure through for example aapka heart rate kitna badhta hai but again if you are if you are not stressed if you have fever then our heart rate aise badh jayega but people who have chronic stress now that is what has been seen continuous then it then it causes challenges to actually for a person to do their own work and ultimately it will take a toll on the immune system that's why it's very important that stress is taken uh stress is taken into uh, account now exercise exercise if i have to talk in detail is it good or bad for immunity now exercise is one of the most important pillars of health in general and it it helps in what not it helps in improving your cardiovascular health it helps in improving your blood pressure it helps in controlling body weight it will help in uh, protect you against a variety of diseases but does it always help in contributing to a healthy immune system i wouldn't say directly it's always indirectly see when you exercise when you have a healthy diet you will have a general good health when you have a general good health you have a healthy immune system so what it does is it helps in improving your circulation which obviously allows all the cells and substances of the immune system to move through the body freely and do their job efficiently so ultimately directly or indirectly exercise is definitely something which helps in boosting your immunity so i would say if i have to actually put it into a nutshell that what are the healthy living strategies to boost your immune system one is don't smoke drink eat a diet which is high in fruits and vegetables 
try to exercise regularly it's important maintain a healthy weight if you get adequate sleep because it's very essential take steps to avoid infection and it could be anything it could be washing your hands that which has been stressed these days or cooking your meats thoroughly cooking your food thoroughly which is something we always do and last but not the least always try to minimize stress because there is obviously a distinct relationship between the mind and the body and either of them when they are not working uh, it 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 tends to it tends to really affect uh, each other so that's why that's why uh, immune system is sort of very much <clears throat> dependent as far as stress is also concerned now a lot of before i end lot of people have questions about food items which can actually increase in uh, your uh, you can say your immune system so yogurt is supposed to be a wholesome food it is good for the elderly why it keeps your git and uh, lactobacillus helps you in uh, prepare it helps you in preventing other diseases but of course certain older people cannot tolerate yogurt like if it is cold then they obviously have uh, things like cold cough sore throat so then that is something which has to be taken into consideration chocolate is again said in moderation let me be very very frank it contains cocoa which is basically a concentrated antioxidant which enhances your immune system but yes in moderation i mean you can't say that if you eat plenty of bars of chocolates and your immune system will be high no you have to think of your sugar you have to think of your stroke you have to think of your heart condition then fish now fish is rich in for the non vegetarians it's rich in omega 3 fatty acids and other healthy fats and it's also a good source of zinc and these two have always been considered good for your immune system then garlic now garlic has been talked about has i mean if you say if you talk about supplements in form of vegetables condiments like garlic then it's a different story it has antibacterial properties because it has it is rich in sulfur and it helps in boosting your immune system of course i have known i know a lot of people who used to put the garlic raw garlic cloves with water and then swallow it because a lot of people cannot tolerate the smell or the taste of garlic directly so that also to an extent contributes now just the immune system boosting supplements one is of course vitamin d3 i told you please it should not be given more than needed then zinc and of course uh, as i told you earlier a balanced diet which in a lot of ways let me be tell you supplements will work specific diets will work but a healthy lifestyle a good diet and exercise these three would obviously help you to maintain your immunity better and let me be let me tell you please do not think of your immunity only in the context of covid because it's not that it's about thinking of the immune your immunity in an overall context where you are able to obviously fight fight with a variety of diseases and not only any particular disease so that is that is i feel very very important and uh, overall if you see one's immunity is in your own hands when you are younger but as you are getting old you might need certain supplements supplements in moderation is good supplements without moderation is not good any drug which you put i mean ultimately vitamins are also medicines so any drug in excess is not good so thanks a lot everybody for your patient hearing and uh, if at all there are some questions i would be ready to take them uh, thank you very much uh, doctor uh, in case any of you want to ask a question either write it on the chat in zoom or uh, ask the question uh, there are two questions that have been asked on chat uh, doctor is why yeah, yeah. is there any blood test to show your immunity level uh the second one i don't think uh, it's a pertinent to this but i leave it to you which is uh, to do with gas uh what do you do in terms of excessive gas uh if you like to take these two before we start yeah uh, so is there any is there any blood test to show your immunity level not exactly but there are a lot of markers which will tell us 
spec not specifically but there are a lot of general markers which will tell us that your immunity is good or bad for example when we do your total count itself we will be able to know whether your lymphocyte count if it's reduced and your immunity tends to be lesser then there are specific tests which will only be done you are actually at a risk of some immune diseases it will never be done normally so for example if you say i want to do if you just want to walk into a lab and say this test should be done uh, then it won't really help in telling us whether the immunity is good or bad then recommended daily dose of sunlight there is no real i wouldn't say there is a recommended dose per se but a good amount of sunlight is always better one two is of course in these days which is purely rainy season there is hardly any sunlight as of now but yeah it is always advised that you try to walk or you try to expose yourself to good amount of sunlight but let me be very frank in older people please you have to be very very cautious because lot of old people also suffer from heat stroke lot of old people get dehydrated so all those things are something which you should be very careful as far as uh, the exposure to sunlight is concerned okay i think the gas question is not pertinent and to be very frank it's too general a question because you can do a lot of things if you have a lot of if you have gas but i would say just to put one advice please have your food at good timings because if you have too much of gap in your food intake then automatically a lot of gas accumulates and you tend to get gastritis uh, if there are any other questions apart from the chat box you could ask hi uh, any other questions doctor yeah can i yeah. ask you something uh, i'm hana can i ask you something yeah yeah doctor jain can you hear me yeah i think i should i think we should ask you what you have done right <laughs> no um tell me, tell me. i am taking i put little few methyl seeds in water at night and i drink okay. when i get up after brushing teeth i drink water and uh, chew that methyl seeds chew okay you chew them currently. so what medicines It's are these for quite some time फ So yeah i mean we say there are a lot of natural which we call ghar ke nuske is what we call them in hindi so so that is also fine i mean i i don't feel that it's it's wrong in doing that like even to an extent even to i mean we have always been said that haldi haldi has always had medicinal properties it had always had properties to actually boost your immunity yeah. as well so that is there and this was discovered much before modern medicine so i wouldn't say that's entirely wrong because yeah that is what has been even seen but what we need to see is not only that is going to help us we need to have a health we need to be healthy in every other way like have a healthy lifestyle have a lot of other things we can only depend on that so ghar ke in uske is fine it goes along well if it does not cause you any harm then it's fine i think mr tagore wanted to ask a question a cool tagore so you'll have to unmute yourself can i ask one question uh, good evening doctor can you yeah. hear me now uh, yeah i can hear you uh, nowadays uh, nowadays uh, quite a good recommendation is that that you should have calcium um, calcium got a much so i have started taking one calcium tablet selina uh, or chewable one uh, per day is it uh, advisable or not so calcium calcium in general calcium in general is i think you have so you have uh, unmuted both both things right ah okay yeah, yeah. i can hear huh. no i think it's double because you are uh, uh, i think you should mute yourself again
yeah so so as far as calcium is concerned yeah calcium is recommended in older people especially because uh, when there is a risk of increased risk of falls it helps more in bone health i would say it does not directly help in building immunity it is recommended no doubt about it but one has to be very careful uh, as far as calcium is concerned you have to make sure that one is that your calcium is at the normal level so a baseline thing because a lot of people keep eating calcium and then they realize that it's actually gone above second is it's always uh, it's always better that you take it also through natural foods which is which is to an extent like milk and all things if you can't if you can't actually tolerate them then of course see supplements of calcium are good side effects now side effects like constipation have been seen with calcium so that is something which can be very distressing for older people then things like calcium and iron like i talked about drugs last time they shouldn't be taken together because they negate each other so neither the iron will work nor the calcium will work. so so those things you have to be very careful apart from that calcium is very safe uh, it's not it's not something which is which is which is uh, going to harm you but again as i said supplements one has to be very careful with calcium definitely is one of the safer ones and it helps you in building your bone strength no doubt about it. doctor can i ask you something yeah geetika yeah 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 tell me Huh? Doctor, my husband has been losing weight in the last four months. He's lost four kgs. As it is, he was on sixty in sixty one only, and now he's come to fifty six. There doesn't seem to be any obvious reason he's eating well in this period. As it is, there's more food going in, and we try to take healthy food only. So, could you recommend or suggest something? Is he is he exercising? uh he exercises to the bare minimum okay so basically ma'am he has lost weight but he has not been very active so i wouldn't say it's a healthy lifestyle although and and one of the biggest reasons older people have actually lost weight during this time is because they have been cut off staying home i mean 4 kg in 4 months is not bad let me be frank 4 kg in 4 months 1 kg per month is not alarming but okay but i would say a bit more of physical activity is always recommended at home itself if you are obviously yeah. not going to go out and it could be anything even if you yeah. have a small small it area yeah or a big area whatever if you have a bigger area great you can just walk along maybe 10 rounds try to increase it next time to more rounds because i think once all this gets okay you need to motivate yourself to actually get out so that would never happen that would never happen if you don't start now so that is important and 4 kg in 4 months is not something to be really worried about and of course specifically if you have to evaluate his weight loss and i would have to sort of ask you a bit more of details which obviously i think maybe it's not the right platform to talk about but i feel overall he should be more active lifestyle wise rather than okay. just about the eating part yeah okay thank you Any other questions? Hello, can you hear me, doctor? Yes. Uh, on the phone, there is a pedometer. Is it a reliable yeah. source of measuring the blood pressure and oxygen content? Um, the pedometer does not see blood pressure. Yeah, it is there. In the, it measures blood pressure also. It must be measuring a number of steps. it must be measuring that is also there rate. when the and even the graph it comes cardiological uh, measure yeah i would say i would i would say better to blood of blood pressure is obviously the blood pressure machine it yeah, could so be a digital also i wouldn't say it's entirely feasible because because ultimately the sensors the sensors are not that sort of uh, susceptible or uh, or uh, you can say sensitive to any changes as a normal blood pressure machine is but to give you a fact that things are not okay or things are looking bad it's not a bad bad sort of you can say an alarming thing for example okay for example if it shows i mean to say if it shows a blood pressure of 200 by 120 i wouldn't believe there is 200 by 120 i would want to check it with a proper digital and then 
if it's only going to alarm you then it's okay because sometimes we have seen despairing changes now that that really that really changes a lot of things a normal blood pressure machine will show you as 150 and if this shows you as 200 then then it's between almost a life and death situation becomes right right changes. so that's why i wouldn't say it's entirely reliable because the sensors are not that strong especially on your phone because there's nothing on you it's not mm. actually measuring also about a glucometer does it really measure sugar properly yeah yeah, yeah. glucometer yeah. definitely glucometer yes. definitely because because glucometer. i measure my glucose fbs and pp always on the glucometer yeah yeah of course unless for example if you are measuring 100 and it's been that when suddenly one day it shows 400 and you have not actually taken anything or then you have to see whether the strip i mean whether the glucometer is working or something is wrong with the strips but apart from that glucometer is reliable very important if you are a diabetic because you can't wait for the labs or exactly. you can't wait for the other things when you get symptoms of hypoglycemia or when the sugar goes too high so that is something you should how frequently should it be measured how frequently how frequently depends on how controlled your diabetes is i do it every fortnight is it okay That's enough. That's yeah. enough. If it's controlled, if your liabilities is controlled, it's enough. Yeah, yeah, it is in control. Thank you so yeah. much, doctor. Uh, doctor, there's a question on the chat. If you could have a look at that. Yeah, I have lost 10 kg since three months without exercise. Is that healthy? Now again, I, I would say that so weight loss is something which is taken very seriously in old people. So. so it will be difficult for me to just say whether it's good or bad unless i know your complete history maybe your amount of appetite your appetite must have gone down you have not eaten if you're if you're eating well and still losing weight then we need to look a lot of causes so i wouldn't this is not the right platform but definitely it needs to be evaluated doctor may i ask you a question i'm asking you Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, doctor, now in case you know, because I have been on antibiotics and antacids for a very long time, so and you know, and I get the burning sensation. And that means you know, because of low acid, the food tries to remain in the stomach for a longer time, and I get bloating, and then uh, you know that uh, tends to increase the pathogens in the gut. What to do about it? Is there any such tablet? You know, to increase the hydrochloric acid, I tried apple cider vinegar, but that burns. You know, the esophagus, even though I dilute it. You know, but then uh, you know, in uh, capsulation is to have between uh, hydrochloric acid tablets, which my doctor used to get for me from abroad. Is there any such thing here in India on a low potency which we can take along with the food? You know, which is help to digest the protein, enzymes, and all that. Uh, i would say yeah all these are there but but the best person to guide you there will be a gastroenterologist hello hi hey, doctor you're clear yeah i think she is frozen yeah so uh, i would say the best person to guide you on this would be a gastroenterologist purely because you have had quite a bit of history of the same and again again i would say that it would warranty more of a more of more evaluation rather than me just telling you that you can take some uh, hydrochloric i mean hcl tablets which is not which is easier said than done i think we'll take one more question um, we're running out of time any other questions yeah can i ask i just want to wind up the so doctor let me ask you the final question um would you be able to tell us uh, maybe three or four things that we should eat every day uh, which would help us maintain or better our immune system yeah so by three three four things i wouldn't say uh, essentially uh, food items i would say one is uh, let me put it into three four things that you should do one is uh, you should have adequate amount of water depending on your disease because it's very important uh, two is have a balanced diet whatever whether you are vegetarian whether you are non vegetarian you need to make sure that you are having a balanced diet if you are not getting everything from the diet you need to supplement it again supplements are not always safe you shouldn't take excess of it so that is something i would want to say again 
then try to get adequate sleep sleep is sleep does a lot of things when you sleep well you actually do a, it helps your memory it helps your immunity it rejuvenates you in a great way and last but not the least i would say is you need to have a healthy lifestyle and exercise so exercise can be in any form but never stop doing it because the body when tends to go into a state of inertia it becomes very difficult for us to make you move and it can be easily be possible in this particular time that's why keep exercising and the bottom line is to boost your immunity also try to take your vaccination try to take your vaccinations on time consult your doctor and please take it because uh, they are protective and there is a vaccination schedule for younger people and we are also trying to come up for for older people as well in fact according to the indian policy all people above 75 years of age should get the pneumococcal vaccine anyways and below that we see the conditions and we decide whether you need to get the vaccinations or not but it's it's important that in general above 65 you do take your vaccination because it only really helps you so this is how you should boost your uh, immunity and uh, try to also decrease the amount of stress because those are things in your hand you can control them to an extent sometimes you can't uh, but try to try to keep calm and uh, try to take yourself into that as i told you a place of mental peace because that is that is very important for you to rejuvenate your mind body everything because that's what works in boosting your immunity to a great extent so thank you uh, thank you very much doctor this has been very useful thank you so much doctor a quick thank announcement you. Thank, you, thank you very much thank you all of doctors uh, talks on tari social thank as you. well as this one uh, we will be uploading onto the website uh, if you go to the tari social website you can actually not only you now hear it uh at least the future uh, talks you can actually watch them also uh, you have both the options available uh in case you want to talk to the doctor for private consultation uh, he is available right to me at, at tarik social and i will send you his uh, contact details uh so that will make your uh, easy to contact him uh other than that uh, wish you guys uh, a very happy healthy life uh, and we will see you again next saturday uh doctor again thank you very much you've been really really yeah. good to all of us thank you thank you thank you doctor yeah thanks thanks thank you